Let's make a super satisfying doodle mosaic. So start off with some artist tape or washi tape and create some asymmetrical sections on your paper. I'll be using paint pens today and I'm using watercolor paper because I really like how the texture feels with the acrylic paint pens. Then go ahead and pencil in some flowy lines. Make those lines all across the paper so you can cross the tape. And then grab your markers, your crayons, your pencils, or your paint pens. So I'm using Sharpie brand creative markers. These are water-based acrylic paint pens. And as I mentioned, I just really love how the texture of the watercolor paper feels with the paint pens, but you can use regular paper, construction paper, your sketchbook, your acrylic or mixed media paper. I've got four colors I'm working with today, but you can use two colors or as many as you like. This video has been sped up. This process took me about an hour from start to finish. And this is uh, something I did in the morning. This was a morning art meditation for me. And it's just a really great way to kick off my day with some creativity and helps me clear my head. I like to sit in quiet. Maybe I'll listen to some music, but I will either focus on the sensations on the page and really become so present and drop into such a flow state. I'm pretty clear of thought or conscious thought, if that makes sense. Or sometimes I will sit and contemplate. So I am thinking and I'm still in this type of flow state, but I am consciously thinking over something specific. So for me, being in a meditative state, I've said this in other videos, but sure, sometimes you can be present and without thought. Sometimes you're more aware of your thoughts. For me, that's the point of meditation is to become more aware of what I am thinking. And this helps me in my day-to-day -day life because I can catch myself throughout the day when I'm not necessarily sitting down in meditation, but I can catch myself and think, oh, Wait, and that's kind of meta to think that I'm thinking, but I'll catch myself and realize, hang on, these are thoughts you're having. Is this actually reality or are you just thinking? Are you lost in past or future? Now I'm tracing the shapes with a black paint pen. This part is my favorite, so satisfying. And then I'll fill in the, uh, or I should say I'll outline the border with a black paint pen. So I'm outlining all the shapes completely. And now go ahead and fill in your shapes with patterns, with doodles. You may have heard of the technique called Zen Tangle. Don't get caught up in any kind of technique. Just doodle your little heart away. You can fill in all of the shapes with a pattern or a doodle if you want, like I've done here. You can also leave some open if you wanna see some colored spaces without the pattern. And then add some details with a white paint pen. This just helps give it some dimension, a little bit of pop. And then you'll add some touch-ups with a black pen. I'm using the Sharpie paint pen to just go over those borders and in a way erase some of the white paint pen. And then enjoy removing the tape. I love taking the tape off. And remove your tape really slowly. I had some of the paper lift off here and it's it's fine, this is just a doodle. And I can do some touch-ups as you'll see in just a moment right here. 
and this was just such a fun process. It felt really good. My brain felt really happy and clear after this. So enjoy your doodle time. Thanks for joining me.